more information about bedbugs. Bedbugs are wingless, blood-sucking insects that often bite at night and hide in houses. Bedbugs look different at different stages. Some may be dark brown, others are light brown, some are the size of an apple seed, while others the size of a period. Bedbugs are considered a public health issue. Having more than one bedbug in your home is called an infestation and they can be very difficult to get rid of. In addition to itching, their bites can cause allergic reactions and become infected. Bedbugs ride into people's homes on clothing and bags that visitors are wearing or on used furniture. Having bedbugs does not mean that you have not done a good job cleaning your home. It means you have been around someone else who has bedbugs. Getting rid of bedbugs is the responsibility of everyone in the community. To prevent bedbugs, wash and dry on high heat all secondhand clothing, pillows, linens, etc. before bringing them into your house. Do not bring used or secondhand furniture into your home, especially if it was out on the street or near a dumpster. Do not visit the home of someone who has bed bugs. If you must, try to sit on hard furniture rather than couches and check your bags, shoes, clothing, etc. over carefully before re-entering your own home. If you think you have bed bugs, First, catch one of the bugs to identify whether it is a bed bug. If you find one bed bug, there are always more. Bed bugs like to hide in the corners of mattresses, folds of curtains, under couch cushions, and in other places with soft fabric. Renters should contact your landlord immediately. If you cannot work it out, seek legal aid. Lansing area residents can contact Lansing Housing Code Enforcement. MSU College of Law, Legal Services of South Central Michigan, Ingham County Health Department. It's very difficult to end a bed bug infestation without professional help. Here are some suggestions for getting rid of bed bugs yourself. Put your mattress into a bed bug zippered mattress protector and leave it on for one year. It takes an entire year for all bed bugs to die. Place plastic traps or glue traps under your bed's legs to prevent bugs from climbing from the floor onto the bed. Make sure your blankets are not touching the floor and that there's no other way for them to climb onto your bed. Wash and dry your bed sheets, blankets, and clothes on high heat, then seal them in plastic bags so no new bugs can get in. Use bed bugs killers such as diatomaceous earth in cracks and where the wall meets the floor. Do not use any kind of bug bomb as this can increase the problem. For more information, including translated step-by-step -step videos and instruction sheets, please visit this website. Most people who are bitten by bed bugs develop itching, red welts, or swelling the day after being bitten. To treat a bed bug bite, Wash the area with soap and water. Hydrocortisone cream can help stop the itching. If you experience a severe rash or welt, or tightness in your chest or difficulty breathing, call your doctor immediately.